guys, it's uh, Marvin here again. Uh, today I'm installing a, I mean, two headrest uh, a DVD player on my truck. And as you can see, I already installed one. I mean, not exactly installed. I already put it on one of the DVD on the driver's side. And of course, you just have to remove the old one and then put this one on. I'll show you here on the other side. So this is the this is the Extron Extron's uh, brand. This is a nine inch uh, touchscreen uh, uh, DVD uh, player. Uh, I have the unboxing video of it. Like I'm gonna put it on the at the end of the video. The link at the end of the video if you guys wanna see it. And uh, it's right here. So all you have to do is to remove the old uh, headdress and then this. Uh, uh, player comes with different uh, kind of like a tube uh, uh, spacer as you can see right here they, they, it comes with different uh, sizes so you just have to uh, to use the right size that it will go in in that hole so yeah so that's the wire I just put the wire in uh, inside here and then And then yeah, you just have to install it here. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me because I'm using, I'm holding the uh, my cell phone with my one hand. Anyway, let me adjust the seat. All right, so I adjusted the seat backward, and then uh, it's pretty straightforward. So you I just, as I said, you just have to uh, use the tube spacer, whatever you call it. The right size and then you're just gonna replace the old headdress with the, with this one and this uh the uh the feet of the headdress they are adjustable the distance when you adjust the distance there's a screw inside that you have to loosen and adjust it and uh, also you can tilt it as you can see right here so it's adjustable as well as the the screen is also you can tilt it right so yeah so the wire is inside both of them the wires inside all I have to do is to is to open the zipper as you can see here it's very the the zipper is you cannot even tell that there is zipper on this uh, uh, on the seat but if you look at here there's this I don't know if you can see that as you can see there's a zipper inside this as the same as on this side here on the passenger side this uh, the zipper is on the right side there's no zipper on this uh, on the left side here so what you have to do is to just open that from here from the bottom all the way up and then you can access that wire of the DVD and then you can, you know, like uh, route the rest of the wire of the DVD player that's gonna uh, go to the supply. So what I'm gonna do is gonna uh, remove this, and then I'm gonna tap it on the 12 volts. All right. So to remove this top here, you just have to lift it off right here. There's uh, like a two tabs here and two tabs here. It's pretty easy. But of course, you have just to be careful when you're trying to yank it. Don't yank it all the way. Just like this. There you go. And try to lift it on the other, other side. There you go. That is just easy. As you can see right here, there's like a two tabs. That's just like a metal. It's really strong. It doesn't come off. Uh, also on the other side so when you put it back you just you know it's easy to put back just you know push it down anyway yeah so let me show you what is inside so here you can see all the wires of the the 12 volts right here and then the heated seat and then what is this here it's the USB and this is the uh, 110 volts. Okay. 
so if you need to fix anything you can access everything from here i mean those outlets just make sure that the engine is off of course because this is that this guy here is remember that is a 110 bolts right there even right now i would be careful even though the engine is off i'm not sure if that is directly connected to i mean if the inverter is directly connected to the battery i would say no because otherwise it will drain the battery but just to be safe i'm gonna put like two switch sometimes you know my son doesn't want to watch dvd so i can just turn it off just to save battery <clears throat> especially when you know even at night you have to try to make sure to turn it off so that you won't drain your battery anyway so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install it right here both sides and as you can see here i don't know if you can see that that there's a square portion there so that exactly where i'm gonna put the switch anyway uh, let's uh, drill the holes and uh, install the switch okay so this is the drill that i used to drill a hole I mean that I'm gonna use to drill a hole but uh, I try to drill in the plastic any plastic that I can find first this one is broken so I, I use this one here and just to make sure that you know I, I get the right size of uh, the drill you know like it's better to be a bit smaller than you know like it's too big if it's too big this one is gonna be loose so this one is just kind of perfect So I just tried it on. Still, this thing turns, not really tight, but you know you can always put a little bit of glue, just one spot on one spot, just to keep it in place. I mean you don't have to use the permanent glue, any glue that you know can be easily removed later. Yeah, but if you just kind of trying to turn it on, it's I mean. It's not, it's not going anywhere so now when you do this you just have to make sure that you can still remove it but it's just not gonna be hard I think just have to no sorry I'm holding the camera with my left hand there you go yep so it's easily you can remove it easily okay so that's the right size of the drill that I need okay so what i did here is i just put i use a electrical tape and then put it right here one here on the top uh, horizontally and vertical it means that i'm going to drill a hole right here in the corner the same on the other side right so that's the i think that's that's based on the square here i'm trying to measure trying to get it centered but you know it's gonna be really hard to get that into center but all i wanted to do is uh, just to make it uniform like left and right right at least same distance from the corner here it doesn't have oh sorry it doesn't have to be really have to go in the center here because it's gonna be quite hard to do so if it's center it's gonna be right here and it's gonna be right here it's just a little bit on the top portion of yeah it's right here let's see I have yeah I think I have room it's not gonna hit those uh, kind of plastic brace hopefully but otherwise this is this is a plastic piece that is replaceable in case but i don't want to damage it of course this is like f-150 i mean 2020 f-150 you know lariat is uh, you know it cost me a lot of money to get this truck all right remember guys once you drill a hole there's no turning back so make sure to use the proper size of the drill and try to make it as uniform as you can all right let's do it
Just make sure you don't hit any wire on the other side. Uh oh. There you go. Now there's the first hole. And let's take this off. See how it looks like. You just have to clean that later. Yeah, it's always gonna be like that. Okay, let's do the other side and then let's start the cleaning. I mean, clean it after. It's kind of nervous for the second time. See that I forgot to remove the this part here. I mean the one that from the first hole. Make sure to remove that. There you go. Two holes. take this off as well it's almost the same thickness of the plastic that I drilled as a sample all right we have two holes now so it seems like almost like the measurements is almost perfect and as you can see there is not really center so it's gonna be hard to see but it's inside the square it didn't hit that you know that brace all right so I will clean it up and uh, install the switch all right, so I cleaned the edges like the corner here with a with this knife here. Remember when you clean it, you clean just the corner right here so that it will the switch will flash to the plastic. Don't try to clean it the inside here otherwise the the hole is going to go going to get bigger and then your switch going to be loose. So let's try to install the switch. And if it's a little bit loose, I'm just going to put like a kind of like a temporary glue on the other side. There you go. As you can see, you can still see here on the top here. Right? So Maybe I can push it up. Yep. So you can see the hole actually is a little bit. It could be a bit more smaller. But as I said, once you install this, you make a hole, there's no going back. That's gonna be how it is now. So, another side. There you go. So I'm just gonna push it a little bit up so that it will just cover the part right there. I guess the bottom one the steel. I wish it's the smallest I mean the hole is a bit smaller. But see there's a room here. That's weird because when I tried 
on the other plastic it's it's good but this one is see it's a bit big and anyway as I said I'm gonna try to put like a kind of a temporary glue on the other side but as you can see right there it looks good all right as you can see here you see that there's a zipper here but the zipper doesn't have a handle for you to pull I mean to pull it open there is a kind of like an eyelet to pull it down but it's not really meant for you to open it so what I'm gonna use is uh, I'm gonna use this long nose to pinch and if you can see that it's gonna be hard to see as you can see there's like kind of like a piece of metal there that part of the zipper that you can pinch and then you can pull it slowly up I mean to open the zipper it's right there right that's uh, when you're doing it you have to hold the bottom part of the zipper so that it will just be careful not to poke the leather of the seat it's not gonna be easy but once you started opening it see it's just gonna it's easy if uh, someone is holding the bottom part of the zipper but if you have no one so what you have to do is just to be careful not to damage the leather once it's here see it's gonna be easy here just pinch that metal securely there you go now it's open all right now it's open the zipper is only on one side the same on the other side over there so once this one is open you have you know room to grab the wires of the DVD so as you can see here the zipper what I do is uh, to pinch this part here you just you, you, you make make sure that you you grip it properly and then pull it up closing it closing the zipper uh, it's uh, quite easy I mean it's more easy than opening it up all right so I managed to you know like uh, put the wire inside and uh, luckily on this side here there is kind of like a hole right here so this is the uh, other end of the cable and then there's the other end that I managed to insert it here there's a, like a hole kind of like an inch hole over there it's just hard to see anyway it wasn't easy I had to you know poke my hand here I mean my arms is quite small <laughs> I don't have a huge arm so I managed to do it I was about to ask my daughter to do it for me <laughs> because she has smaller arms than me but uh, on the other side oh man that is so dark yeah on the other side as you can see here I there's no holes like on the right side so but right here is there's a I mean really good gap for the cable to to go in yeah so I'm just gonna reroute that right uh, forward a little bit and then even somewhere here is like there's a good gap still for the wires that the wires not gonna get damaged so okay let's so this wire is gonna go right here and then it's gonna connect to this wire on the inside in the inside right so uh, the best way to do it is uh, you know forward the uh, uh, passenger seat 
and the driver seat all the way so that you have like lots of room to work on and uh, yeah it's gonna make uh, your life a little bit easier but uh, this is the hard part I guess you know like uh, fishing that wire inside of this uh, plastic box whatever all right Okay, it is uh, it's connected, so I'm just gonna put it back inside. Make sure it's connected properly. It locks. You can. It won't come off. And now it's time to close the zipper. It's closing it. Closing the zipper down is just. I mean, closing it up is quite easy than opening it up. Oops. They get, get stuck somewhere. Oh, already right. got stuck in the plastic. So I get a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Now it's closed. There's like a kind of plastic here that the metal catch up. So it gets stuck right there. So you just put this one back inside. All right, and the wire is here, so just make sure that you have like lots of uh, slack, not too much, you know, you don't want it to get caught by this rail here. So just like enough, it's loose anyway here, just so, so that when the you want to move the seat, you have enough uh, slack of the wire. Okay, I did the wiring for the switch. As you can see here, I don't have a black wire, so I used the blue wire that goes to the ground of the uh, cigarette lighter. Also, the black wire, this black wire is coming from the wire of the DVD, that's of course the negative, and the positive of the DVD, the positive of the DVD is uh, going to the middle of the switch like the center pin as you can see the red I put red the uh, shrink tube right there and then the green one I use the brown wire for the positive uh, 12 volt source which is I tap it to the right here I don't know if you can see that properly I tap it to the brown wire also of the uh, cigarette lighter brown is the positive one and the negative is black so I use also the brown wire it's right here <clears throat> so that goes to the uh, bottom pin of the switch and then as I said the blue wire that's the ground so I just tap it to the ground of the cigarette lighter and also the same on the others other I mean the other switch yeah so show you here this switch is like kind of for me kind of reverse when you install it the light is at the bottom uh, now I don't know I can still move it I'm just gonna secure it with the probably like a silicone at the back of the switch so that it won't move uh, right so I can show you that it's gonna work the LED light it's right there Now it's working and let's turn it off, turn it off, it's working. Okay, so let's turn it on again and I'll show you that the DVD will work. Let's turn it on, 
and this thing should work there you go as you can see the red LED lights <laughs> lit on and then let's press the power the screen should work I'm not gonna play anything otherwise I'm gonna have the copyright uh, problem issue again with YouTube which I kind of uh, annoying but let's just say this is a touch screen a USB and there you go now it's uh, all working even here on the other side let's see let's turn on the switch hopefully that where's the LED light there you go there are LED lights right there it's also on let's turn it on by the way this is a uh, 9 inches to uh, Xtrons uh, the brand is Xtrons uh, DVD player it has like can it has HDMI uh, in I guess and uh, AV in and then also micro SD card and then USB and also there is a DVD slot on the uh, on top and it comes with the uh, wireless headset two wireless headsets and uh, uh, controller for the games it also comes with a CD with games but it's kind of like you know like those black and white games it's very old games just for the kids yeah but otherwise uh, it's, it really works good touchscreen works good it's also have a built-in speaker if uh, yeah if you don't want to use the what is that the wireless headset it, it's also have RF transmitter that you can tune it to a uh, radio station of your uh, uh, car stereo and then the sound will come out from the car speaker and uh, just to show you here guys is and you can also yeah link the connection that let's say you want to play uh, because this is just like a totally separate uh, player you can you know play separate uh, movies but if you want to play same movies on both screen you have to connect this it's really, it's a straightforward in in out in out and they are color coded and then you just have to select the settings there on the DVD and yeah and this one here this is also the supply for the cigarette lighter that uh, comes with it uh, this thing here the wire so you can either plug it in there if you want to go through oh, the bottom of the seat and if you don't want to go if you don't want to uh, I mean uh, attach the 12 volt supply permanently like what I did so you can just use this and then plug it into the cigarette lighter or also there's another here if you don't want to you know like uh, uh, put the wire inside this the seat you can just plug it in here as well the same thing so and then plug it in in the cigarette lighter so like there's like a three ways of like uh, powering uh, this uh, player either here or here or you attach it permanently like what i did and then each of them has like a fuse protection so it's it's a good it's a good set <laughs> anyway let's uh, I, uh that's uh, the wiring is done i'm just gonna put some uh silicone there to secure the the switch from you know moving uh from moving like and then i'm gonna put back the the cover that's uh, the cup holders uh, on this uh, center console all right, so I'm gonna heat up that uh, shrink tube using the heat gun that I have. By the way, when you're doing this, at least you have to have the multimeter, you know, to, you know, like make sure that you're at that, uh, connecting it to the right uh, wire, like the positive and negative. And that's the shrink tube that I have. I have the set of the shrink tube, like different sizes. It's good to have it. Bought it from Amazon and uh, yeah let's uh, heat up the shrink tube
Just don't get too close to the wires or plastic. Now it's just the hot air gonna hit that string tube. And then and be careful with the heat gun, the tip of the heat gun is gonna be hot after you use it. So there you go, as you can see they are all secured and uh, shrunk so there's no expose but as you can see the switch here is also have like the metal part that is exposed but once you close this thing no one's gonna touch there and even the connector you know the 12 volt connector I just put some electrical tape just to be safe all right, and then here they're gonna be. There's nothing to touch right there, so I'm just gonna just gonna sit there properly. All right, so I put some silicone there. It's kind of messy. I was looking for my leftover uh, gasket maker that was the black one. It would be look nice, but and as you can see on the other side uh, on the side of the switch i also put some just to cover the exposed metal <clears throat> but it's really messy but i didn't want to buy another you know just uh, black silicone just to use very you know a small amount of it so i just use whatever i have this is the silicone that i use for my trailer you know like for maintenance in case you know like the seal get cracks so i think that will hold it and and uh, i think it's time to put the cover back on so i get a cover here this is the also the cup holder so as, as i said this uh, is just only two tabs on both ends and it will go straight there and it's just gonna be so easy and then just you know arrange your wire do some wire management and uh, as you can see the the ground doesn't have to be covered because that, that is the ground and uh, yep it looks good so I'm gonna the wire won't go anywhere just sitting there so let's uh, put the cover back on let's see if it's not gonna hit anything but I think I was wrong because the cup holder will hit the wire so the wire has to go uh, inside so I have to okay <laughs> I have to fix that all right so it's quite easy you just I just push the wire down and there's lots of room here it's even loose right there so I was thinking now because it's there sitting I mean down there it might make that kind of noise when I'm driving the car and I hate hearing you know noises in my car so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some like foam I have this is my leftover foam that I use for sound proofing so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some foam inside just to you know uh, prevent it from hitting the plastic you know walls here the old plastic inside so okay let's do that okay so I just uh, put like a small piece of uh, foam here I just kind of wrapped that uh, this connection here wrapped with the foam and as you can see it doesn't make any noise anymore right okay let's put the cover back that's all that's all you have to do That's it. Just so easy. And let's make sure this is aligned before it gets dry. And let's try again. There you go. There you go. Turn it off. Turn it, turn it off. All right. So I think it's done. So yeah, if you guys you know thinking to install the same DVD, I mean headers DVD on your F one fifty, this is twenty twenty 
F150 Lariat. So that's uh, hopefully this video will help you guys. So this is your source, and then all you have to do is to run all the wires. You know, it's not it's not that hard. Just takes time, but it's not that hard. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.